I started on this journey a really, really long time ago. Journey? Quest? A quest for perfection. Really just trying to nail down this profile and make it like everything that I ever wanted it to be. So yeah, uh, step into the laboratory. Join me as we perfect strawberry and cream. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Hey, what's up there, YouTube? I'm Rugby Juice Recipes. Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? Little, little, little special something for you here today. New, new series, new mini series, new series. I don't know. We'll see where this goes. We'll see how it goes. So, yeah. I mean, I've always, uh, I've always tried to to produce content that is, you know, geared towards newer mixers. And uh, you know, recently I've been a little bit, I felt a little bit, you know, really tied down by the DIY easy, you know, flavor stash because I have all of these flavors at my disposal. And uh, and, you know, having to always constantly operate with inside of that box, it's really, really challenging. It's really, really fun. It's super rewarding. But at the same time, it's like I need I need a little bit, I need a little bit more space, something to something to grow into. Um, you know, uh, at, at the same time, I still really just love those real, real simple, just super simple, you know, bangers, you know. And uh, I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe maybe somebody. Uh, they're not super interested in a lot of the flavors that is in uh, that is in the DIY maybe's flavor stash. Maybe they just want one single profile, and um, and they just want to vape that one profile, but they can't get their liquid, so they have to make it on their own. But uh, you know, there's always so many different uh, so many different recipes out there for all these different profiles. And if you if you're newer to DIY, and you've never done this before, you, you really just kind of uh, kind of just you know almost you know, playing with fire, as it were, you know, you could see a recipe, have no idea what any of those flavors taste like, buy it, tr find out you don't like it, and then, you know, you have to start over again. And then you kind of just, you know, drop down this rabbit hole of, uh, you know, buying flavors and trying them out. And some people really, really like that, but not everybody does. So what what I'm trying to do here uh, with the quest for perfection is, uh, you know, pick these profiles. These really, you know, very popular profiles. A lot of them have been made into commercial liquids, uh, and, and really make that as best as I possibly can and as simple as I possibly can. So yeah, quest for perfection, uh, strawberry and cream. So uh, like I said, I, I started this journey a really, really long time ago because I really, really like strawberry and cream. Uh, right now, uh, it's about 100 degrees outside. And, um, you know, a lot of my vapes, they aren't tasting very good to me. They're not satisfying. They feel very heavy. And, uh, you know, I always fall back on strawberry and cream. It's just very, very good. Always, all of the time, every season, hot, cold, it doesn't matter. Strawberry and cream is always just very, very good to me. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, you know, it's a super familiar fruit, something that's used in a lot of candies, you know, and, and cream. It, it's very satisfying. It has good texture. And I really, I really, really just like strawberry and cream. Um, so what is strawberry and cream? What am I looking for? What is what is a perfect strawberry and cream look like? Well, um, you know, let's talk about that in, in two separate two two separate categories: the strawberry and then the cream. Let's talk about the strawberry first. So, what I'm looking for in a strawberry is kind of you remember when you were a kid, and maybe it was a drink, uh, maybe you know like Kool Aid or like a Gatorade or something like that, or a, a soda, a pop. You know, maybe it was a candy like a lollipop or uh, a piece of taffy or something like that. You had that strawberry flavor that to you just tasted like strawberries. Uh, and that, that was your go-to strawberry. And then, and then maybe, maybe, you know, maybe you had never tried a strawberry before, or, um, or uh, maybe maybe you weren't someone who was who was prone to eating fresh strawberries and you tried, uh, you know, a real strawberry for the first time. and You're just like, that's not strawberry. You know what I mean? There's that artificial fake strawberry taste that's very, very good. And then there's like that natural, authentic kind of real fresh strawberry taste that doesn't actually taste like strawberries if that makes any sense. So what I'm looking for 
is that familiar childhood artificial strawberry. And, and what I kind of fall back on is Hershey strawberry syrup. You know, you ever have a glass of strawberry milk, uh, you know, where you get the, the, the Hershey's strawberry syrup and you pour that in there. That is the kind of strawberry that I am looking for uh, in a vape. I want that really sweet, very artificial tasting strawberry. And there are so many, so many different strawberries out there. And I own 30 some different strawberry flavors. Uh, I didn't buy all of them just for the purpose of creating this recipe. Um, but there are a lot of strawberries out there. And each one of them, you know, has its ups and downs, its flaws. They all taste like strawberry. Some of them are artificial. Some of them are real. Some of them taste like candy. Some of them taste like syrup. Um, but they all taste like strawberry. So... It was really, really hard to kind of go through every single iteration and each combination because every single strawberry, it has its flaws and it needs some help in certain areas. And so it's just very, very taxing to try to find a combination or single flavor of strawberry that really kind of nails that down. But I think that I really did it here. And before, before we talk about the recipe, let's, let's talk about what I'm looking for in a cream. So in a cream... Um, I'm going to use one word to describe it, and that is silk. This cream, the cream that I'm looking for is silk. I'm not looking for something that's like abundant in dairy flavor, although I do want a little bit of that dairy note in there. I want a really silky, smooth, velvety, maybe a little bit sticky cream note. Something that has really, really good texture, but is very, very soft. It's not overwhelming or oily. It's not too thick or eggy. I just want a very silky cream. So first, you know, the strawberry. I want to taste the strawberry. I want the strawberry to be right up front. And then on the exhale, I really want that strawberry to blend into that cream note. So yes, that is what my ideal strawberry and cream would taste like if I was going to vape it. Now, uh, I probably did a, a really, a, a, a much better job of explaining it than we can actually do because, you know, vapor is vapor. Uh, we're never going to be able to get it perfect. Uh, we can get really, really close, but getting that actual imagery is very, very difficult. It takes a lot of work, but if you are a person that is looking for a strawberry and cream that is like what I just described, I would encourage you to try this recipe out. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and it is just that. It is a sweet, artificial strawberry flavor with a silky cream note. For the strawberry, we are gonna use two flavors. One of them is probably the most used strawberry that exists. Uh, I use it all of the time. It is probably my favorite strawberry. It is Capella sweet strawberry. This shouldn't really come as a surprise to any of you. Uh, this flavor is a staple. So it is a artificial strawberry flavor. Um, it kind of tastes like a, a lollipop. Um, it has that sort of like um, candy flavor. Uh, it doesn't really have any chemically off notes. It is not very natural tasting at all. So what we are going to do to make that kind of sticky and to darken it up a little bit and to make it into a strawberry syrup, we are going to add 1% one of one-on-one -on -one strawberry jam. One-on-one -on -one strawberry jam is very, very, very good, very potent. So 5% of the Cabela Sweet Strawberry is kind of our baseline strawberry, and then we are going to add that jam to that at 1% just to give it texture, to darken it up, and to make it into a strawberry syrup. For the cream note, we are going to use two flavors. The first one, for the main cream note, we are going to use 3% of TFA Bavarian cream. Uh, TFA Bavarian cream is a very silky, smooth cream note. It has just a hint of vanilla in it, and there's a very appropriate amount of vanilla. It's not too much, and it's not too little. It is there, though. It's very, very pleasant. It helps to make that cream smoother and to kind of make it, you know, a little bit stickier. And then for texture, sorry, did I say 3%? We're using 3% of TFA Bavarian cream. And then for texture, for volume, we are going to add 1% of TFA whipped cream to that. TFA whipped cream is, is the smoothness. It's the texture. It's going to give it 
you know, going to give our clouds some, some cloudiness. The way that that touch of strawberry jam plays with the Bavarian cream is absolutely delightful. We get tons of flavor from Capella Sweet Strawberry, and then and then that jam really, really kind of mixes with the TFA Bavarian cream, and then the whipped cream just gives you, you know, lots of volume. The very very full flavored recipe. You can almost kind of chew on the vapor. Uh, it does need a few days of steep to kind of, you know, let the textures really develop, but it is very, very good off of the shake. So if you're somebody that's in a hurry, this recipe is absolutely shake and vapable. Uh, I use half a percent of Capella Super Sweet in there. Uh, that seems to work well for me. Of course, you know, sweetness is subjective, so you can put more or less a different kind, whatever you want to do for sweetener goes. But uh, this is a banging strawberry cream recipe. It's a nice round 10%. So if you want to mix up a flavor shot, you know, so that you can just make your juice on the go and you don't have to measure anything out, uh, it works perfect for that, you know, 10% with your, you know, 70, 20, what, however, however you mix your juice up, it's perfect. I have it in a tank. I've used it in a dripper. It's, it is banging flavor. All right. Yeah. I mean, that was a lot of fun. It was, you know, it's kind of liberating to get out of the DIY easy box. You know, I'd still love that series. Uh, I think that it's still very relevant, uh, but this is, this is going to be a lot of fun. So what I need you to do, um, if you have any suggestions, uh, profiles that you would like to see perfected, simply perfected, uh, you know, just let me know down in the comment section uh, of this video. And uh, if this is the first time that you're watching me, uh, thanks. Thanks for hanging out and listening to me ramble about strawberry and cream. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn notifications on so that I get to annoy you every time I upload a video. Like, comment, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one.